I grind that bitch. Hip hop on demand. So, so check it. So we're gonna take two more questions because I know a lot of y'all want to get your drops. The longer we go, we're gonna dead your drops. I got one. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I watched the cover. It looked like you're thinking, like, what, what's the whole science behind the cover? Because you see, on on, on this wall, you know, we got the Shaolin versus Wu Tang, but on the album cover, we got you like looking like trying to get motherfucker science. Like, what exactly was was your whole thought process for for that album cover? Just that's where I was at at the time. I was, you know what I mean? I wanted y'all to go into my mind, you know what I mean? And just understand that, you know, I'm really focused right now and um, I'm paying attention, you know what I mean? I'm paying attention to everybody's feelings on, you know, where they look at Ray at or how they look at Ray. You know, it, like I said, overall, it's definitely a blessing to still be accepted, you know what I mean, in the game of today, 20 years later, you know what I mean? And, and right now I'm just... Letting my mind work, you know what I mean? My mind is going to work. I got a lot of shit on my mind. And I try to balance the good and the bad, but, you know, just just Ray, man. Just just me. Besides from my cutlass and my rusty, rusty spoon, my butter knife is the weapon of choice. Tell me more about that. That record butter knife. Yes, um, sir. I like that beat. That was produced by Bronze Nazareth. Um, he brought it back to that sound. I mean, I, I told him, yo, yo. I'm working on the woo shit, so I need that sound. Mm -hmm. I, I talk to all the producers like that, like, yo, I need that sound. Right. And, you know, I had to play A&R as well as be an artist, so dudes was hitting me with all kind of shit, and, you know, I was just making sure that I picked something that I feel is close to what it is, and Butter Knives definitely took me back to the early 90s where we was getting it in, so that definitely was one of my favorite mm. 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 yeah, One more question, one more question. Last more question. Has, has RZA heard the album, and do you care if he actually hears the album? RZA hasn't heard the album yet, you know what I mean? Um, you know, RZA, you know, one thing I can say is that RZA, I appreciate him, you know what I mean, regardless through the good times, the bad times. You know, he didn't want, he didn't like the title of this album because when we wasn't happy with eight diagrams as a whole mm. we was already in the corner saying yeah nigga we're gonna come back with shallon mm. versus wu tang mm. so he kind of felt like oh y'all trying to y'all trying to challenge the grandmaster <laughs> but it's just like a karate flick. so every now and then you gotta you know you gotta you gotta teach your, your grandmaster a lesson but at the end of the day i know he loved me i know he wish wish the best for me and my family and um nah he ain't here yet you know what i mean he know what's going on, though, but here, Harry, you know what I mean? Like I said, it's love, and like I said, at first he probably thought that the album would be disrespecting him, which I would never do, you know what I mean? All I want to do is just make him a better producer, and I always try to tell him, like, you know, we got to we gotta stay close in the mind and know what's going on around us, and, you know, sometimes brothers be doing so much, they forget the basics, and... Yeah. I ain't, I ain't mad at him. I mean, I wanted him, I wanted him to know that we pay attention to everything. You know what I mean? And, and, and by any by any means, he's still one of the baddest motherfuckers in my book. You know what I mean? And um, you know when he hear it, he gonna have his 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 word his way of saying whatever he gotta say. It's like even with Cuban Links too. You know what I mean? He came in for a minute, helped me out. You know what I mean? But I had to Ray had to stand up and do a lot of things on his own because. Ray is a man too, you know what I mean? And I feel like I learned a lot from him and we learned a lot from each other, so you know what I mean? It is what it is. One more question, y'all. No, we don't go to him because he ain't right. Shalom, peace to the God, my brother. Peace, peace to the God. Peace, peace. What up, kid? I tell you this, man. I know I know you real in everything you say. We had a conversation last time in the Cuban Links 2 came. And one thing I gotta ask for everybody though. What's the one thing that you miss from, let's say, 93 or when you were real young and hungry compared to now? Let's, I mean, there's probably a few things, but what's the what's one of the biggest things that you miss outside of, like, uh, the Internet and stuff like that? Like, from the well, number one, um, I would say I miss the, the love from my crew, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I remember the days when we all, everything we did, we was always in one mind together. And you know, nowadays it's not like that, you know. Everybody got their own 
<laughs> they own direction on where they want to go and where they want to be. But I miss that. I miss that family thing. You know what I mean? To me, at the end of the day, whether I'm with my crew or not, I'm always representing them. You know what I mean? But I do miss the fact of being in the studio with them, vibing out, having fun, doing verses or whatever. I haven't done that in a long time with dudes. Like, cause of everybody going their own direction. But we said that. We said that from the door. Yeah. We said, yo. When we get to a certain level, we all want to branch out and do our own thing. So I guess now, these are them days, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. These are them times where it's like, you know, I might want to get that ghost, but he on the other side of the world. He have to, he have to do his job to pay, to pay, to take care of himself, you know what I mean? Take care of his family. So I just miss the times of being in there with my niggas and like, you know, being up late nights, bugging out. You know, I don't get that no more, you know what I mean? So... Hopefully we could get that again. Check, check. check it. I got one last question. We're gonna do this. I was at the, I was at the Nokia Theater. It was called Best Buy now when y'all did the Wu Tang concert. How how you felt, man? Cause it was like everybody was, even you God, like you God been in the papers, gone. Everybody was there except RZA, but it looked like y'all was having a great time. How yeah. did you feel? Oh, I mean, you know, like I said, you know, RZA wasn't there only because he he's shooting a movie right now. You know what I mean? RZA is really opening up a door for itself in Hollywood, which is a great thing. I love him for that, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, as long as I know that he's in there, I know it's an opportunity for all of us to be there. So, you know, like I said, he's he's pursuing his, his, his movie dreams right now. But um, when we on stage, man, it could be three of us there. We're going to give y'all the best show that we can give y'all. And, and we was just having fun, man. Like... I think that, that that's what's been missing from from us in a long time is just having fun. You know what I mean? And definitely it's always love when I get around my brothers and, and start partying with them. Like, I don't care, I could be mad at him, but when we on stage and we together, you forget about that shit in like the next three minutes. You know what I mean? And like I said, yo man, to me, that's the best fucking group in the world, man. You know what I mean? And, and it feels good to know that we could go and go through different cities and still sell out a venue 15, 16 years later. I mean, you know, not only here, but across seas, I'm talking about shit's always be sold out. So we just have fun when we get on stage, man. Whoever ain't there, I mean, how many how many nine-man groups y'all know out there in the game, number one? So trying to get nine motherfuckers all the time is the hardest shit in the world. But at the end of the day, we always going to continue to, you know what I mean, hold that flag up and represent the fans because them is the ones that got a nigga out the streets, though. And we definitely appreciate that. Yeah.